everybody and welcome back to my second video blog. I think these things are called vlogs, right? I'm still learning. Thanks so much for clicking on my Facebook page and uh, as we spoke about, as I spoke about in my first vlog um, about playing rhythm guitar and about uh, certain songs, certain uh, guitar parts that uh, you know were important to me um, or had an impact on me as I was growing up uh, listening to music. Um, so I'm going to go through five of these. I, we called it the Funky Five. And uh, the one I did last week um, uh, was really more known for its bass line than its, its uh, guitar part. So if um, you heard the bass line, maybe you would have recognized it a little more easily. Okay, so if you still don't recognize that song, then, uh, well, I think you need to go back maybe and listen to some, some funk, in particular, uh, that band. Um, growing up for me, I can remember the first time I heard that song, and I'm about to reveal what it is in a second. I'm keeping suspense too much longer, but uh, I, can, I can remember vividly where I was. I mean, I was, I was a kid, truly I was a kid, and... Um, you know, we used to go to uh, dances in like the church basement kind of thing, and there was a, there was like a disc jockey playing music. And up to that point, music for me was it was great. I mean, it was uh, British British invasion music um, that was being played, and I heard blues, I heard a little bit of jazz, uh, of course Motown, and all the R and B music, the soul music from the '60s. Um, I mean, just amazing music. But um, that song, this song, uh, first time I heard it, there was just something, something grittier, something just, <clears throat> I, I just can't explain it in words, but it just, it just got me right there. And I just, you know, I just had to kind of figure out uh, what was going on, who that was. I ran out and bought the, this album, and uh, it's number one in my list of Funky Five. Number two, Pick Up the Pieces by the Average White Band. Great, great tune. Uh, so many great guitar parts. Uh, there's two guitar players on this track, and uh, I really learned a lot. Um, initially, trying to learn this was really challenging because um, trying to suss out the parts, because two guys are playing di different things, especially in the intro. Um, it can help out if you can get your hands on a, a, a book or uh, an accurate transcription of um, of the guitar parts which I have in front of me here uh, the intro's got two guitars on it and uh, the voicings first of all are really interesting uh, it's a C7 chord one guy's playing a C C7 sharp 9 and one guy's playing the C7 sharp 9 but he's got an he's got an F in it C7 sharp 9 11 I think and he's continuously strumming 16 notes accenting this is really cool, and this is something, again, going back to the first vlog about finding a 16th note. If you can't internalize, if you really struggle, uh, just slow it down and study the part, take it piece by piece, and work it out. Just do it slow. Here it is at, in tempo. The, uh, the intro, the first part is... Uh, And what's happening is continuous 16th notes, but accenting the one, the and of two, and the and of three. So slowly, one, the and of two, the and of three, the and of four, the and of one, the and of two, the and of three, the and of four, the and of. That's where you want to put the accents. The other guitar is playing, um, playing the, the, the C7 sharp nine. And he's playing a, 
more of a staccato thing. He's going. Um, very cool when those two parts overlap. Uh, there's a lot to learn in this song, so uh, I'm not going to get get any further into it um, and move on to the next song. But it's definitely on my list of funky five. It's worth checking out. Okay, number three, the big payback. Um, any list that has the word funk in it has to have James Brown somewhere in it. He is the guy. His musicians are stellar, man. They're like, they're the Mozarts, the Beethoven uh, of rhythm. I mean, incredible stuff if you want to get into this whole, you know, guitar thing with the, the 16th note thing. Uh, there's just the library. It's just like, check out James Brown. That's all I can say. Uh, the big payback, uh, heard it. I just like, wow, that is so simple, but so effective. Um, and the thing really to note about it is, is there's two guitar players, bass and drums. Um, they just never get in each other's way. Uh, they leave space for each other's parts to exist. And that's really what makes this funky for me. Uh, why I love it so much, that's what makes it happen is the space. So let's just look at let's just look at the bass line. I mean it's so easy, but it's just so effective. One, two, three. Lots of space there for other parts to exist. And the main part that always caught my ear was the guitar doing the... Right? Very, very cool voicing. Uh, two notes, B flat minor, the minor third, and the sixth degree. Really cool. And uh, it's just so cool because it just moves up. The whole thing moves up a semitone. And it just kind of pops out. So move it up. Super funky, super cool. The godfather of soul, the architect of funk. The one and only James Brown, number three on our list of Funky Five. Okay, number four on our list of Funky Five. I don't want to mention his name. He has a purple guitar, and apparently he doesn't like people posting his music or videos or anything, so I'm going to just hopefully not get in trouble, but this is number four. It's super cool. <laughs> That's it, number four on my list of Funky Five. The one and only guy known as a symbol, uh, amazing guitar player, one of my idols. Um, you know, this song came out so many years ago, I was playing in clubs and I got to play with a lot of really great musicians. I still do actually, a classic by You Know Who. Number four on the Funky Five. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our list. Number five was a real toss-up because this could have been a top 10 list, actually, come to think of it. It could have been even a top 20 list. Uh, looking back on the music I grew up with, all this great funk and R&B, uh, so many great guitar parts, 
Um, so I decided, ah, we'll do James Brown again, right? Because there's just that's that's the guy. I mean, there's so much there to to uh, to listen to and to work out uh, as a guitar player. Um, and uh, this one, this is so cool. It's just. <laughs> cool because hold on the drummer there um, it's a combination of a line and a chord and um, it's just in the key of D but he's starting on the C and you got this chromatic thing happening right C C sharp up to D back to C and then he answers with the chord which is kind of like a you would think it's like a D a D9 right what he does is he throws in that F one E and uh. So cool, so cool. It's a small, small little detail, but I think it's just cool uh, that he, he would think of that and combine those two parts, kind of a call answer. Right? Super cool. James Brown once again uh, ends the Funky Five. I could have did a whole vlog uh, on James Brown's music and maybe at some point we will come come back to that he's just he's the guy as far as I'm concerned hope you enjoyed the list and I'll see you on the next vlog with some other interesting I hope interesting at least for you guys are enjoying this I'm really love love doing this It's a lot of fun for me you know revising going back on all this music that I I came up with and um, we'll do some more we'll do some more rhythm guitar stuff Thanks so much for checking me out and see you all soon.